Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Last week we did this battle, Wargame 193. Could an F-22 Raptor squadron defend Guam from two Russian Tu-95 bomber regiments? And they couldn't. We were playing as the Americans and unfortunately we lost viewers and that's I guess the first point we should pick up in that these big war games we do. We do not script them for wins for YouTube views. We just set them up. We do some rough testing. We make predictions and then we run it and we see what happens and if we lose we lose. It's just the way we like to do things. Uh, let me very quickly explain what we did last time. The idea was the Americans are protecting Guam from a large Russian bomber attack. The bombers start 370 statute miles away which is where they would be detected at. At that point, Raptors and other aircraft scramble from Guam, get up to Mark II, shoot their long-range missiles, aim 260s at 130 miles, and try and shoot the bears down. It didn't quite work, viewers. The missiles, as you can see there, the aim 260s, are just hitting the bears as the cruise missiles are launched. And once those cruise missiles are launched, the uh, 176 of them, they were unstoppable. We tried to shoot them down as best we can, but there were just too many. That's just how it goes sometimes, viewers. And we can't do much better than that. The F-22 is probably, well, the world's most highly accelerating interceptor or fighter aircraft. So that's the best we could do. So back to the drawing board. I would like to answer your viewer complaints. It's something I like to do. We like to run these, we lose them, we address your complaints and then we try and win them. I've been through your comments and I've taken the six most popular ones. Complaint one, CRAM did not fire. Here we go, here come the 176 missiles that we're fruitlessly trying to shoot down. Patriot starts firing. Bub, 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 and the missiles hit and the sea rams didn't fire. Why? Because they're not bloody there. There's a new, I don't want to say bug in game because it's not actually the game's fault. The fault is the way that we abuse the game. Uh, but there's a new idiosyncrasy, shall I say, where some units are simply not appearing. And in this case, the sea rams didn't appear and that's why they didn't shoot. So whoopsie, uh, we've investigated, fixed the problem with CH. Fingers crossed it doesn't happen again. Next complaint. Russia does not have enough KH-101 cruise missiles for this battle to happen. Uh, we fired 176 KH-101 air launch cruise missiles and... Mm, yeah, there is no way Russia at the moment has that many missiles in its stock. It's fired them all at Ukraine. But the thing about these war games viewers is we like to do what ifs. What if they had this many missiles? What if America had that many AIM-260s on Guam and so on? So we're going to stick with it. Russian fighter escorts missing. You guys say that the bears should be escorted by Russian fighters. I very much disagree with that, viewers. Russian strategic bombers think bears, think white swans and maybe badgers on their long-range missions do not use fighter escorts. And even if they did, I'm pretty sure there is no fighter in history that could escort bombers across the Pacific Ocean, which is where we are here. Maybe the parasite fighters from the late 40s and early 50s, but nothing else. So fourth, defenders should already be airborne. So our defenders in Guam are QRA, so they're not airborne. They're waiting to take off and you guys wanted them already airborne. Uh, yes, it probably would work, but I don't like it. It seems a bit too much like cheating for me, so I'm not going to do it. The Raptors should have targeted the cruise missiles instead of the bears. Well, we fired all of our missiles, 200 or whatever, aim 260s at the bears. While those missiles were in transit, the bears fired their cruise missiles and then there was nothing left to shoot down the cruise missiles apart from me and my humans and we just didn't have enough firepower. So, yep, good point. And then finally, move the AWACS towards the target. So the AWACS can detect a bear at about 370 miles, as you can see here, which is where the simulation starts. You guys want this guy, the AWACS, move 200 miles out here to give us 200 more miles. And yes, that absolutely would work, but it's, again, kind of cheaty. This is a surprise attack. Why would the AWACS be out this side of Guam by 200 miles? If anything, you'd think it would be out the Chinese side by 200 miles, making it even worse. So I think we'll keep that in the middle. And that's where we start off today, viewers. So we are rerunning this. Starting at 370 miles is the same 22 TU-95MSNs. Each is carrying KH-101 semi-sort of stealth missiles that are going to be launched at 265 miles 
from Guam. We know that we do not have enough time to get airborne and shoot those bombers down before they launch their missiles. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the Raptor is the fastest aircraft out there, or the fastest accelerating. Nothing is going to do it better than that. So instead of having the American squadron shooting the bombers down, this time we're going to accept that the missiles are going to be fired, that we can't stop them, and instead we're going to shoot the missiles down. So I've replaced the Raptors, the 16F 15 EXs, which are going to be much better than Raptors shooting missiles down because they can carry twice as many missiles. So, 16 F 15 EXs, all driven by AI, each with a staggering, to be honest, a bit unrealistic, but possible 14 AIM 260 JTAM missiles. That's over 200 missiles. They will take off and they will scout the area between Guam and where the missiles get launched and try and shoot those missiles down. Those are going to be doing the bulk of the work. The humans, which last time were shooting down the missiles, are now going to be shooting down the bears. So my humans will be in F-15Es with 1990s missiles, which is fine. We don't need 2020s missiles to shoot down undefended bears. F-16s, again, with 1990s missiles. Um, I've kept the defense the same. Patriot is here. C-RAM is here. This time it is fully working and it will appear because we've sorted out the bugs with CH. And that is in case of, obviously, some missiles get through, which is very likely. In a perfect world, these F-15s will clear up those 176 cruise missiles perfectly. But this is not a perfect world. Errors happen. Missiles miss. Blah, 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 blah. So, again, as you know, it's not scripted. We're just going to see how it runs and accept the result predictions. Less missiles will get through. Yeah, I think less missiles get through, but I still think they're going to make it through. Welcoming viewers, pilots, fire, Simba, Poosh, Grump, Cap, Dark, Cannibal. Say hello, boys. Hello, boys. Hello, hello boys. boys. Simba, please unpause the scurver. Set your jets up as required. Radar on. Check. Horrible hissing sound. Off. Mm -hmm. Check. Master arm on. Check. Break off. Check. Soy radar. Check. Deconflict radar. Check. Cap ready. Oh, nice skin push. That's Thank my you. boy. Thank fire dad. That's really nice. Not fire dad. Fire. Oh, and fire. Oh. Fire skin as well. Fire skin. Look at that. Everyone's getting their own skins. All right, guys. We better pretty much head off. There's the AIF 15 starting up, viewers. This is going to be a fun run. Oh, God, that looks good, Poosh. The internet is going to go frigging wild. Right. Sorry, big crosswind. It's all fit to put a 20 knot frigging crosswind in for some reason. Drum, fire. Right, viewers, now the F-16s have had to bring fuel tanks because they can't go as far. Well, as Simba's arguing against, but I think it's right. The F-15s carry a lot more fuel. Look at all that fuel, 21,000 pounds. So I think the F-15s don't need fuel tanks. There's only one way to find out, and that's try. Oh, Grump, you're giving me a race, are you? All right. I'll take two Pratt & Whitney's over your one. Oh, no, you've got General Electric, haven't you? So far, I'm ahead, Karam. F-15 for the win. Supersonic and a frigging climb. Oh, where did Simba come from? On Earth fire, where did you come from? Oh, wait. Came from nowhere. All right, Poosh, we're coming into our power band now. I'm gonna level out for a bit just to get some filming done and then we'll start climbing again. If I go off course, don't follow me. Right, let's have a look at the bear. 22 angry, two regiments of absolute carnage. Yes, it's unrealistic. And to be honest, viewers, Russia has no tactical reason to attack Guam. It's silly, I know. But to be honest, most of our war games are. But it's fun. Right, AI are up. They're gonna fly different to us, viewers, because they're not trying to get to the bears. They're loitering, waiting for the missiles. Let's have a look at my boys. Dark, in dark skin, demonetized. Fire, in his beautiful new fire. Poosh, trailing me. Grump, oh, he's falling back. Where's Simba? Simba's I'm in the back, is that a late start? Look at him, prioritizing the F-15 and Cannonball. Right, Poosh, we're making another leap. 
As Mao said, it's time for a great leap. And demonetized. Man, I would not want to be a bear with that lot. Angry boys coming towards me, and there are a lot of angry, spunky boys. Right, Simba, predicted best um, altitude for speed slash fuel. 40 to 50,000? Roger, noted. A Raptor territory. I mean, the F-15 is the uh, it king is. of high altitude. High altitude, yeah. DVR. I should put a shout out for Fly, who does all these liveries for us. He does them for free, obviously, and just kind of guy he is. We are six minutes. Wow, that was a quick six minutes. Look at the bears again, because why the heck not? We're gonna get you this time, Bears. Pusha's right behind me. Dark's really punching it in his F-16. Simba just behind that. Really getting up to speed now. Cap mark 1.6, leading the way. Right, let's yep. get it. 1.62. 1.62. Oh, F-16's going faster. 1.5. I'm, I'm going, still on a climb. Roger Simba, I'm going all the way up to 160 on my radar. The channel for you on the radar. Uh, A4, I'm an A4. Simba's A6. D1. Alright. But AI have kept right up with us. They're not even on afterburner. I think it's because we had to climb and they could stay down low viewers, so... Distance, 140 miles. Man, I wish I had a J10 right now. But that's okay. We're gonna get nice and dirty and close, boys. Priority today, I guess, guys, is not friendly firing. Which is really hard to do on missions like this when you've got a bunch of spunked up boys. I'm fully aware of that. Oh, cat bricks. Uh, 100 miles. In fact, I'm even gonna see if I can lock them at 100 miles. Ladies and gentlemen, F-15E radar, A and APG 7-0. I've locked them at 100 miles. Right, now I'm just limited by my missiles. Mark 1.76. 1.79! F-15, best fighter! Woo! 1.85. 1.85, Simba, how? Wie kann man das machen? 1.8. Sons of bitch. 1.9. You just dived, you dove, didn't you? You cheated, Simba Wimba. Uh, I also climbed up to 47,000 feet. Yeah, you're overtaking. Look at that, you're overtaking Dark. Look how I turn it into a competition between no. my boys. You're a by Dark! Your tiny little weedy sucky sucky engine. That's actually better than ours. But you've only got one. <laughs> Simba be like, I am the people's champ. I even punched off the bags a little early to try and catch you guys. Oh God, something's happening. Oh yeah, they're firing the missiles. Oh, they're firing the missiles. Oh, Rapunzel. Viewers! 44 missiles out. 66 missiles out. That is a horrendously scary, if not slightly unrealistic sight. 88 missiles out. Oh my goodness, look at that. 110 missiles out. Oh god, I hope this war game works. Or I'm gonna be the laughing stock of the internet, Simba. And you wouldn't want that, would you? 154 no. missiles out. 176 missiles out and those bears are done. Sons of bees. Guys, you carry on. I'm gonna go to mill power and be in reserve because I've got a lot of filming to do. What we're doing as humans is perfunctory, really. The bears don't really need to be shot down. It's the missiles that need to be shot down. And that's where these guys come in, the EXs, America's latest version of the F-15. I know it's not quite the right model, but it's near enough uh, for now, carrying lots of modern missiles. Right, they're going to fire at their maximum range of a ground target at about 50 miles, I would imagine. And they are ooh, a long way out, 100 miles. Right, I the do boys. have a quad mount for Fox the... Uh... Oh my goodness, Simba's fired a 90s missile at 60 miles. This could be the record for a core game kill, Simba. Are you in the mood for a record? Always in the mood. Always in the mood. Right, well, it's 60,000. I'm slightly worried you're going to run out of a battery up here, but we'll see. Look at all those missiles, dude. Did you see them? No. 56 seconds of flight time. I jump. 176 Russian cruise missiles there. Six missiles out from my boys. Yeah, I said it, my boys. 70,000 feet. Simba's right. It's diving down. How impressive. Oh, have my uh, AI fired yet? Bucks no. Three. Boys are all firing now. 15 seconds out. Eight by Fox 3's away. Wow. 
You can go home and cook my dinner, Simba. Oh, it's gone, Pitbull. Look at it trying to steer in this air. There's no air up here, viewers. It can't steer. That's why you need a JTAM or thrust vector, uh, a thrust lateral vector. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You all know what I'm saying. First splash. Think First splash. splash indeed. Oh First my goodness. Splash. Oh, too much going on now. Yeah, Simba. Well done. They are falling like gnats. They're not stupid. They've turned. They've turned, and they're maneuvering away. But it's too late. Well, they are stupid for oh. trying to attack one. Those missiles impacted above Mach two. They were probably close to Mach three still. Yeah. Look at them go. Right, I've got to concentrate on the aim to aim 260s are out. Right, viewers, now the aim 260s are out. These guys are going balls to the wall against the uh, KH missile. Now, are they going to work? Thus far, this is untested, Viewington, Wilmington, Booingtons. Right, where are the targets? Oh, man, I'm watching bears fall out of the sky. Look at that. Splash one, splash two. Shouldn't laugh, but we'll laugh. Right, I'm going to watch these KH missiles. Oh, it's beautiful. It's an absolute... It's working. Bang. Bang. It's working, guys. Once you've polished up the bears, head back and start to help intercept the missiles, please, guys. Oh, we're going to miss. There's that inefficiency I was talking about, viewers. It happens. Nothing is perfect, apart from Poosh's attitude. Look at... Oh, my goodness. You don't get to see that very often, viewers. And they're pretty much merged in now with the AI, who are all out of missiles. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 80 missiles fired. I know the bears are still being shot down, but it's just not priority at the moment. Right, you've got about 10 more bears. Actually, maybe half of them are dead. Ooh. Why does the front wheel come down? It's That's the escape hatch for them to actually get out. They don't really have ejection seats, viewers. Half a dozen bears to go. I'm focusing back on the missiles. Oh, and Poosh has already done, shot his load and has gone back for the missiles. Ladies and gentlemen, Poosh. Well done. Uh, that might be blue and blue. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Sorry, Grump, I thought you were off to the left. Grump is nope. not, not going to be happy about that. Well, that's something for the debrief room. <laughs> uh, you can respawn. You can respawn. It's allowed. Uh, you're representing an entire squadron. Get your sexy touche back up there. I know I should be flying viewers, but I'm just... It's just so friggin' much to watch here. Poosh is in there, gunning the friggin' missiles. Next battery, or whatever they're called, of missiles are about to strike down. And this is about to be incredibly sexy, viewers. Right, be careful, Poosh, because JTAMs are coming in. I know there's nothing you can do about it, but God, I hope they don't lock onto Poosh. That would be an absolute... Boom, boom, boom. No, they're not locking onto Poosh. Oh. Yeah, this is a cool game. What does it look like to be the casual viewer? Look, I'm in a, I'm in a little boat now, viewers. Set my camera up. What does it look like to be in a little boat here? That's what it looks like. It is 100% raining men. Some inefficiency there. And there's my little poosh. Uh oh. Oh, I'm not my friendly oh, fire, boys. Me. Funny spike. These guys, Winchester, all Winchester. 139 missiles fired, not enough. Uh, I think there's three bears. Let me have a look. No, there's five bears left. Have you guys got any missiles left to chase? No. No. Nope. Guns and missiles are out. Yeah, my apologies for not helping out, guys. This is too much to look at. Too many pretty sparkly things. Big 70 pound warhead should take down a bear. 
Ooh, piece of candy. Piece of, you found a piece of candy. There would have been one less bear, but uh, Grump decided to selfishly steal that missile. I agree. It was kind of Grump's fault, actually. He was just looking so pretty. <laughs> Is that the definition of victim shaming? Sure. Yep. Poosh is gunning missiles down. That's my boy. They're on a vector of 090 for a range of 120 nautical miles. So you've got some boom boom to go still. Right, let's watch some J-Town speed fired, viewers. Little Bird told me you like to watch J-Town speed fired. Two more bears left. They're still heading towards the top. A lot of people say, well, we don't fly the F-15EX much and why we use the F-15E. Well, you have to remember, viewers, that still the vast majority of in-service F-15s are the E and C model. There's only a few F-15EXs actually in service. More JTAMs coming in, Three. guys. Three. Well, there you go. There's your answer, guys. But it is technically in service, so we're going to use it. 170 missiles being fired. That includes the missiles at Simba and Co-5. More yeah. of them in service than the JTAM. <laughs> um, Oops. I got, no I, say that. I got no American. answer to that. I got no answer to that, Doc. It's a future battle. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not sure it would have mattered too much what missile they had. It wouldn't, so. it wouldn't make any difference at all. We could use AMRAMs. Make no difference at all. It's kind of cool watching those JTMs drive in. It really is. Makes you proud to be an American fire. You know, me, an American. Oh, okay. that green card comes through. There's no stopping me at that point. Poosh, you've outrun them, America. by the way. I'm out of bullets. Ah, that is a, that's a thing. It says there's two bears left. Oh, there is two bears left. Yeah, there is. Right, <laughs> someone might want to... They're headed towards Gom. Someone might want to go and shoot them. I mean, you don't have to, but... I'm, I'm headed towards him now. All right. Where the hell am I? Oh, sweet. I'm in... Uh, what's this way? Africa, pretty much. I don't know. Probably 50 missiles left from 176, 50 left. Have we got anyone left to intercept? Yes, Grump's on his way. Grump, have you got 50 missiles? Yes. Oh, uh, as long as there are no follow-up questions. Okay. Good luck, Grump. Tastic. M260 has been fired from the friggin' rear with the gear. There's a uh, behind Grump. Oh, is it? How did I miss those? Oh, yes, there's another flight. Hope. Yeah, they should just about have another. Mm, mm, mm. I suppose I better turn around now. Now I'm done with Madagascar. Everyone stop saying Madagascar. Lemus. I want to see a Lima, Timber. <laughs> Madagascar has 50 different kinds of Limas. Wow, that's amazing. Which is the most anywhere in the world, in fact. Limas or lemurs? Lemurs. Lemas. Aim nine lemurs. Uh, um, F-16 supposed to cruise at 65,000 feet or... Uh, yeah. uh, we impressive. call that the bozosphere? The bozosphere. Canopy fails, you're dead. Right. Blood boils off. Oh, no one likes boiling blood, guys. Bad for the skin. Right, yeah. Uh, I totally don't boil uh, blood. Uh, uh it's gone. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's totally normal. You into a window into Grump's life. Grump's weird ass isn't there, life. Isn't there that one kind of wine for uh, Halloween that you're supposed to heat up? Huh. That's like some glue vine. Glue vine. No, yeah. Oh, that's the one. Yep. Okay, Look well, at me. Well, Look at me knowing German wines. Yeah, I'm slightly... I'm friendly fire? No. Come on, shoot I'm those so missiles down. You are very cultured, Simba Wimba. You went to a country once. Just one. Just one time. Oh, Jesus. Lots of missing going on, guys. Oh, oh, 
I'll take that back. Oh, there's only one um, left. There's only one left. Oh, fired. Yeah. Friendly fired by AI. Americans okay. kind of accurate. Right, we've got one more, guys. It is so freaking easy this time. I mean, we made it look easy. Uh, someone needs to shoot that last one down. Because knowing my luck, the freaking Patriot and the Sea Ram will refuse to fire. I got it, Fox 3. Ah, right. Kind of shooting at the missile, by which means you're shooting at an effing bear. Near enough, though, Grump. Near enough. Oh, it's gone. Yes, I wasn't having to. Don't have to worry about hurrying back to get more missiles. Last right. missile's dead. Last bear's about to die, right? You guys, in that case, we can all go back for a formation landing. We've got time to burn, which is very rare for us. Viewers, that is how you chew up a bunch of bears. You get the fighter wing to go for the missiles and you get Bear down. the humans to go for the bears. Well done. Oh, go on, you still get a bit of kudos there. Bro. I don't think I have the fuel to wait for you guys on a formation landing. Right, well, let's off you go. Let's see who, who can get back then because fuel consumption. I have got a staggering 4,000, so I get the feeling I'm not coming back at all, guys. Right, how far did I get? I got 300, no, I got 265 miles. Yep, I'm not making it back. You That's need insane. to get real high. No, I'm busy making videos, filming Simba's beautiful bog bog. Uh, you're not gonna make it at 170 knots. What? Dark. Oh. He's at 60,000 feet! <laughs> Freaking Eesh. nerd, what are you doing out there? <coughs> Well, it's technically over 500 knots, Simba. Ground speed, that's... Almost at mark one. AOA. Yeah, it's AOA is high. Yeah, it's getting bad now. I've dropped in speed. It's a surfboard. Push your nose down and just let it coast. F-16, great plane. Not high oh, altitude. Oh, I've got fuel. Well, Simba's pretty much made it back. 21 miles. What was your fuel? 1,300 pounds. Oh, I'd nice. gotten up to uh, 60,000 feet up in 60, the buzzers feel like feet. dark. And I was only burning about 1,300 pounds an hour. It's like I need to go to the bozo sphere. Who wants mm -hmm. to come with me to the bozo sphere? Are we doing a formation here? Oh, and your sexy new I'm trying to rejoin, but I can't slow down that full slow. Ah. Let's do a high G roll. All right, landing on G4 left. This is such a steep dive. Oh, that really is a steep dive. Good luck, boys. Best curve to the right. I have this massive speed break to slow me down. Yeah, little tiny speed breaks on the 16. Fortunately, these runways are really long. Yeah, well, they're made for strategic bombers, made for B1s right. and whatnot. Gear speed, gear coming down. And all this time, I've only used 100 pounds of fuel since I last. You got 100 pounds? No, I've only used a hundred. I had a thousand. Now I'm at nine hundred. Huh? So not... Oh, Greta, Greta Thunberg will be very happy. I've got another twenty-five minutes up here. And Simba touching down. Did you respond, Simba? Negative. Huh. Well, original airframe. It. Original airframe viewers. Right, push. Fuel push. Um, less than 100. <laughs> he's, he's weighed his aircraft down with that fancy new paint job. It's like 12 inches thick of paint. Well, push. Um, I'm but not sure what shiny. to say. Shiny. It is. It is shiny, yeah. I'm so shiny. I'm so shiny. Well, viewers, I don't know what to tell you. Well, you managed to glide back 50 miles last night. It was mission, Poosh, but you're not doing another 50 when you're at zero airspeed, so, yeah. No, you need to be, like, 20,000 feet higher. You want me to go higher? Mm -hmm. But what if my canopy you're falls off? You're only at 34,000. What if my beautiful oh. canopy falls off? Oh, whoops! Um, You're going to be swimming in the ocean with some bear pilots if you uh, don't try. Right. Well, I'm terrible in hand-to-hand -hand combat, my PE teacher told me when I was at school, so... I better avoid those Russians. I need altitude, and I need it now, viewers. I'm trading in for a little gas for a lot of mileage. Out of electricity. Oh, out of electricity again. You need that for your augmented flight system. Where does this thing have a battery? I'm, uh... It does not have a battery. I know it doesn't have Why a battery. Why doesn't it have a battery? 10 o'clock. Who the hell makes a plane without a freaking battery? Oh, we've upset the trim by jumping out. 
poosh. I, I did. Now it's climbing. I don't know what's up with that. Boeing is not going to be happy. I guess the battery's materialized. F-15 to space, I believe, viewers. Cap, you yeah. only have 123 nautical miles to go. Ah, how about that? Here, it's coming back. It's coming back. You know what it looks like? The original Streak Eagle, the old A from 1976, whenever they did it. <coughs> it been on Streak Eagle. Look, viewers, we didn't even test the Patriot. All that? Or the Sea Ram, which is actually here this time. Ooh. Yeah, all that work to fix it. We didn't get to try it out. Yeah. Well, the AI are back, so you're going to have to fight for a landing spot now. Still going. Still going. Poosh. They're so fast. All right, boys, me and Fire Dad got our scorecards, and we will be grading these landings. I heard Grim Reapers did really good mill sim landing, Simba. Is that what you heard? I heard Fire Dad is the equivalency of the Russian judge in gymnastics. Right, he will spend on say that, because I'll get demonetized. All right, come on. Uh, who are you off, uh, Cannibal? Is that a runway you're on, Cannibal? Yeah. Well, it looks like Dark's gonna be first in because he doesn't know how to slow down that well. Awkward, dark, but true, right? From where I sit, I'm on the right side of the runway. Yeah, we're coming from the other side. No, I know I'm kidding. We're gonna, we'll, we'll wait for Cannonball, take the first available taxiway. Oh, you'll be clear long before they touch down. Look at that. I know, they're so slow. Oh, he ballooned to the bit. He ballooned. Don't worry, Garth. You don't need those ventrals. Pressure of the internet watching. Oh, Grum, look at Grum. Grum didn't even rub any friggin' rubber off the wheels. This is not his first rodeo, viewers. Oh, you guys act nothing like Super Cap, I can tell you that. He's relying on this uphill at the end of the uh, runway to slow him down. Huh. I still have over a thousand pounds of fuel. The other guy's landing in pairs on the other runway. That's kind of cool. That's a new feature. Oh, I just haven't seen it. Taxiway is not flat. Not flat? There's oh, nothing about this airfield that's flat. I'm excellent at laying concrete. They should have hired me. Laying concrete over lava rock. Huh. Well done, F-15s. They get friggin' 10 out of 10, Simba. They did slow I think down. we can do better, Cap. We can do better. Well, I tell you, you can't do better, Cap, because I've got like, oh dear. Yeah, I'm not making it back. Well, viewers, you all know me. I'm not one to go quietly into the night. I'm going out swinging. So I've got like 300 pounds, uh, maybe about 200 pounds. Okay, autopilot off. Let's use this last bit of anti-Greta kerosene and make something beautiful with it, guys. Oh, I'm one engine out. Son of a bee. Do the good things, Cap. Do the good things. The viewers depend on it. Oh, friggin' time. I mean, you can just... There it goes. I trimmed it out perfectly, guys. Right, guys. On three, it will be a full power and eject. One, two, three. So just clearing the hangar before ejecting. All right, fine. Just listen to... Don't listen to me. I cleared the hangar. Wow, how did Go you guys manage to hit bird. each other? Go on, Simba. Go on. Oh, why, Simba? Why? <laughs> what a friggin' nerd. Yeah, the fire hydrant. Hey, my is doing a burnout. Look, Look at the that. donuts. Oh, <laughs> uh, a drifter. Oh, and a monetized. 